Good afternoon, Brad Parkhurst here with Gosstown This Week. Today we're at Barnett Park and joining me is Rick Wellhomey. He's the Director of Parks and Recreation. Well, thank you very much for doing this, by the way, Brad. I think this is a great idea. My pleasure. Um, I think also, you know, it's nice. I don't know if a lot of people actually even know what these parks are, so this is a great thing. Barnard Park, um, at this park here, our facility here, you, you have the quarter mile track, uh, rectangular field that we basically have a lot of uh, uh, high school practices. We run our lacrosse program here. And this is actually where our summer playground program takes place as well. As it takes place, we use this field. And all this, this facility has a pavilion, and that's where the kids go during our summer uh, playground program. And then out back, we have a playground with uh, different different apparatuses for different age groups. Then we have the swimming pool, which you probably might be able to see behind us here, um, which gets a lot of use. And then we also have our tennis courts. And on our tennis courts, we uh, actually just painted a, uh, two courts with pickleball. Uh, dimensions so uh, that way there if, if folks want to play some pickleball the high school uses the tennis courts for their home matches and practices for their tennis team but the parks open you know dawn to dusk okay. and it's open for whoever wants to get out and enjoy it what about the pool hours pool hours are from uh, 1 o'clock to 8 o'clock seven days a week mo uh, Monday through Sunday uh, 1 o'clock to Four o'clock is what we call an open swim for all age groups. Okay. Um, and then from four o'clock to five is a family. So it's, if, if kids come, they have to be with their uh, parent or guardian. Okay. And then five to six is a uh, adult swim only. And these times are the same at Roy as well. Okay. Um, and then from six to eight o'clock at night, it is it becomes uh, family only. Okay. So now with the fields here, you said there's practices plus parks and rec. Do does the high school actually play any? games here? The, uh, their JV team and their freshman team will play home games here on this field. Um, and I mean, it, it's, it's, it's also open for the general public to come out, play frisbee, fly a kite, do, you know, do whatever you want. And we'd like the public to use it even more. What we're going to do now is we're going to move on down to Roy Park. Hi, Rick and I are back now. We're at Roy Park. It's in the Panardville section of Goffstown, located on Rosemont Avenue, near the Manchester Line. Many people are unaware that Roy Park is here. And Rick, could you tell us a little bit about Roy Park? Absolutely. A special feature, I think, about uh, uh, Roy now is the playground. Um, this playground really, I think, makes this park uh, unique. Um, you know, we still we have a swimming pool over here. It's a smaller swimming pool, but we have a swimming pool over here. Uh, we have um, a rectangular field, which is used for a lot of soccer uh, practices. And we run our after-school soccer program on this field over here. So when you sign up in the fall for the Parks and Recreation Instructional Soccer, that happens over here at this field over here. It also has a softball diamond. That makes this park a little unique as well with the softball diamond. Right. Um, we have a pavilion, we have a basketball court. That's what Roy Park is. And it's, it, it is, like you said, a lot of people don't even realize uh, when you say Roy, it's like, where's Roy? Roy Park is, it's just on the other end of town. And uh, landmarks, if you go by Ollie's and Aubin Hardware, bang, go right up that road and it's a little diamond in the rough hidden up in the back. So swing on through. And uh, another thing I noticed is that since I've left working for Parks and Rec is that the parking has probably doubled in parking spaces? Yes, there is a little bit more parking, but I think we can probably get about uh, 50 cars in this lot, 40, 50 cars in this lot right here. Okay, back when I was there, you're lucky you could get 20. So, <laughs> okay. Maybe it was changed, but. Uh, now, do any other organizations utilize the rectangular field at all? Yes. Um, 
you have the Screaming Eagles Football Club. They use this field. Uh, Tritown Travel Soccer, they use it as well. Again, thank you very much. And again, Brad Parker signing off with Rick Well Emmy. Thank you very much for doing this, guys. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you.